can make me laugh. I like Good morning, everybody. I just received this from Joseph the Intern. It is Ralph Purified Drinking Water. That's right, folks. That's my beverage of choice this morning. Happy to have it. It's nice and cold, too. Nice uh, plastic bottle. I'm going to enjoy drinking this throughout the show, Matt. I'm so happy that we're supporting this kind of um, beverage here at the show. Very we do nice what we to can. know. We do this what we is can. nice. This is good. I love you. I love you, water. <laughs> good morning, everybody. I never you know want to hear that again. Welcome to... to Welcome to November. Come on, Vic. Welcome to November. Welcome to November. Hey, welcome to November. Welcome to November. Welcome to November. Welcome to November. It's the second last month of the year. Time for some turkey. It's the second last month of the year. Time for some turkey. All right. Thank God Halloween is behind us. Doug Lucenhop, DJ Doug Pound, fresh off the road, back last yesterday here in the studio. Good morning. I create space for drops, ladies and gentlemen. I give space. That is part of my generosity. That is the fundam that is the, the foundation of my generosity. It begins with giving space. For Thank those you, who Vic need it, Cern. Victor Boyge, the Burger Burgermeister is here. The fourth, Mr. Man with the uh, Jeff Goldblum's The Fly headphones uh -huh. on. Great to be here. Let's have some fun. Let's get cracking. Holy moly! Wow. Uh, lots. Let me just go through the show for you today. We got Steph Tolev who I am excited to talk to. She's staring at me right now, <laughs> and she's laughing. She's enjoying herself. We're gonna get to her in a minute, Get and get into what, what's going on with her, the queen of filth. So ask the children to go in the other room because it's gonna get <laughs> dirty. We're gonna probably use the F word, the C word, D word, For and other words. Queens. Other private part talk. We're gonna get we're going stern 1989 this morning, folks. <laughs> Talking about I boobies, vaginas. <laughs> 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 Whatever makes funny. Matt the most comfortable. <laughs> Matt wearing some kind of marbled, a marbled sweatshirt today. That's very my interesting. acid wash. Oh, that's cool. We are a very uh, you look like a, you look like, a kind of you look like a countertop, Matt. Thanks. <laughs> There's that button. You look like a West Hollywood countertop. There's that button. <laughs> that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, just a, like a fancy, fancy, like a mansion, like a Hollywood, I should say a Hollywood hill. No, there's no gay, in a, <laughs> gay connotations there. Just a, a, a Laurel, no, a, a <laughs> Laurel Canyon. Hollywood Hills kitchen. Hills. Walking that one back. Could be an Altadena. No. Could Walking be it a... on all the way, all Walking the way back. Walking it all on back. <laughs> Matt is the captain of the <laughs> And uh, we have also big news. We have the human lie detector with us this morning. And people are asking, who is the human lie detector? What? <laughs> <laughs> who is the human lie detector? Well, it's none other than our very own Vic Berger. <laughs> I forgot about this part with the with the uh, eyes, looks but uh, absolutely absurd. I know, but I've been watching a ton of what? Okay. interrogations. You want to just and you, want, just me, you want me to set it up? I just I well, you can set it up if you want. I'm trying to. I'm just excited to get started here. So the Stop so this was it, Vic. The, pre <laughs> the premise was this. Vic said he's been watching so many uh, interrogations. Mm -hmm. On this YouTube, they're on YouTube, and they're and these are like people that have murdered people. Right, right. So, allegedly. Now, why are you watching these? I I just like to learn about the human nature and and lies and tr telling the truth and you know. So yeah. you've been watching so much of this that you believe you've developed the talent of telling if people are I, lying or not. I know when people are lying, and I know if they're <laughs> telling me a bunch of baloney, and I can I can just read it now. I just feel it and. I think that some of the questions I can ask will get to the bottom of it. Okay, so, so we're truth. not going to spend a lot of time on this. No, no, uh, no, that's, that's okay. <laughs> but 
we will accept if you call in and you've got a uh, you want to try to stump the lie detector, see if he's actually. So mm -hmm. call in with either something true or something false. Is that the way this That's works? That's right. And you can you can you, if you're a good actor, try it out. Mm -hmm. Lie. Or we're gonna have Jeremy or, Irons call in later. Right. <laughs> So when Vic, when you're watching a movie, you're just like, these people are full of shit. Uh -huh. Watch hey this guys, movie. It's Jeremy Renner. Yeah, no, I, <laughs> these actors are lying to me. No, I know in that context, I know that, that that's not that's not real. They're pretending. But when I'm watching an interrogation, someone that may have killed their wife or or family member Copy or na that. neighbor or something, I you know I pay attention. I, I know what's going on. If you'd like to join us on Zoom, of course, the that information is in the description. Correct, Matt. We have. Always in the description, link. always the same. Click on that damn link, or you can give us a call. We love the Hothead hot, Hotline. That number can, well, is either up uh, under me now or it's not. I have no real way of knowing. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> it it is, up. apparently. That's, we've gotten confirmation there that it is. Um, all right. I want to remind my Los Angeles-based area audience that I've uh, sold out show this weekend at the Dynasty Typewriter. With uh, Eliana Athade, my uh, well, is that because it sold out? Yeah. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. Well, I, I I always worry that it's like you know something sells out and then people are like, oh, I forgot I bought tickets. Well, that happens a oh. lot. There's or they a lot buy of empty tickets. Empty seats at these sold out shows and people mm -hmm. buy tickets and then they don't go. That's right. a big thing that's There's trending. No I'm just reminding you. I'm not making a big deal about it. But we got Fred Armiston, Casey Johansson, who was on the show uh, last year, a couple years ago. Can't remember. Are there any extra tickets that uh that for someone like me? You're not going to go. I, why would well, I you, not No, go? because I know you won't go. Because I never go to things? Yeah, because you weren't at the Halloween party. <laughs> you don't go out. I don't do things. You don't do but things. But I would go to this. I would go. I would do this. Uh, if it was during the day, if, if more things were oh, during yes, the day. Oh, yes. I forgot to mention, the show is at 2 p.m. <laughs> do you remember? Well, it we would did, not be easier if it was during the day, so by easy. the way. You'd be bowling with your boy. Oh, that's true. I would be. You'd no, be I, at I did, we did Farms. the show with, with Brendan Wardell the other day. That's true. And that was during the day. I went out, left, had to leave my house for What show was during the day? <laughs> it was just their podcast. It wasn't like oh. a, a live thing or anything. But. That's right. If you want to hear but, Vic and I on a uh, another podcast, we did Brendan and Jamal's show. Uh, it's curious they booked you the week I was gone. I don't know yeah, what that, that was about. Very curious. <laughs> I don't really... They said they only had this week. So The yeah, problem is I'll do anything, anybody out. I'll do anybody's... As you can tell lately, I do anybody's <laughs> thing, I do anybody's show. <laughs> if, if, I, if I can squeeze it in, but don't don't expect much from me. It's not like you're suddenly going to become a F Joe Rogan podcast because I'm on it. It's probably just going to be a bunch of people mad at you that I'm on there. <laughs> Let's go, Joe! <laughs> I don't read. Uh, so that's happening, and I also want to give a shout out to our friend. Our lover, my love, um, John Glazer. He's going to be on the show next week. He's going to be on the show next week to talk about his new comedy album that just came out. And I want to tell you what it is. I'm so excited about it. Uh, it's called, uh, well, let's just look at John Glazer on uh It's not comedy. It's, uh, it's Soothing it's... Meditations for the Solitary Dog. Oh, it's um, not common. It's not common. It's no. for dogs. Oh, it's for dogs. Cool. It's for dogs. I don't have any dogs anymore, so I won't be purchasing it. <laughs> there you go. Later in the show, this is big news. Oh, We're going to... We've got that hat. <laughs> that hat. The hat. Looking on, chill it out. <laughs> Later in the show, we're going to be doing the world premiere of the uh, new Beatles song. The Beatles are back. <laughs> <laughs> They've reunited for one song, and one song only. It's their last song. We're going to play it. It'll be a world. We've gotten explicit permission. We've gotten the, the AOK -okay from YouTube and from Apple Corp. Everybody has said, go for it. We're not going to demonetize you. So we'll play it during the break and then talk about it. Later in the show. That's patreon.com slash office hours live. God bless you. Now, Matt, have I forgotten anything? That's no. a full 11 minutes of preamble from me. Seriously. Wow. With a little. And so now we must get to our guest, the raunchiest comic God. working. <laughs> this is going to be sick, isn't it? <laughs> Steph Tolev joining us live. Thank you. 
I, give it to me. I, I give did, it to me hard. I, honestly, yeah, that's why I should just turn around and gate my asshole to make the, the crowd <laughs> think that I'm doing something. Like it just turns. I have two googly eyes over my asshole. I'm uh, like, welcome to the morning show. Uh, like I don't know. I don't know what no, I, I don't to do know. now. I, I'm I'm being silly, of course. It was, uh, but it, it is a, it like, is your moniker. It is my moniker. It sounded yeah. creepier. You when you said vagina, it made me feel grosser than anything I've ever said on stage. Because <laughs> you just, just said it didn't roll off. I'm your like tongue. a health uh, uh, the health teacher at, in high school saying yeah. it, maybe. Vagina. Um, what did I say to you when you when I when the, I think I took uh, took you off guard a little bit. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. It was I, very strange. You said uh, we've never really had a club comic in here before, and I can't do an impression of you because that's that not what you sound, sound like at did all. Not, it's not how I sounded at all. <laughs> no, 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 I don't know why I went deeper <laughs> for you. Oh. Oh, I don't know. We never had no club comic in here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's how I talk. I, mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. I could see how it could be interpreted as like cutting. And it was. Cu- like, it wasn't yeah. meant to be. It didn't mean and it I to immediately be. clarified yeah. that. I don't know why. I, I am a club comic. I don't know why it offended me. Right. The, the, I wasn't meant I do to clubs. be. It's not. It's not a pejorative term necessarily. Although I have no. certain thoughts on certain club <laughs> comics. Of course. You do clubs, but I also do the alt shows, Dynasty, yes. the other places. Other places. The stage. Uh, the smell of sex and gas. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I, I guess, I, yes, I'm a club comedian. Yeah, but uh, so I, the reason I said that was not to be disparaging or anything. I just thought, well, it would be fun to pretend, since this is a morning show, uh, and we've done this in the past. We do this thing called WOHL, which is like a parody of a, like a crass morning mm-hmm. radio show. Uh, like, because you you would do these on the road, right? You yeah. would do these morning shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so, like, just to pretend, like, what that experience would be like. I'll need one of you to have a goatee, so it's not going to feel oh, real shit. yet. W-O-H-L. If anybody has a goatee, Rock. one of you needs to be fully bald and immediately say that his wife's a bitch. Um, <laughs> that, okay, there we go. Okay, Here, okay. Let's do it. I, if we want to make it feel real. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, everybody, welcome back to the big show. We're here, W O H L. We are live in Glendale right now. We got the very funny, very dirty steps. See, I'm not, I'm not a great, yeah, yeah, yeah. great broadcaster is the problem. <laughs> we got a very funny, very dirty uh, club comic, Steph Tolab with us. Steph, how you doing this morning? <laughs> it's radio. No one can see this, right? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> You're crazy. Where are you performing tonight? <laughs> Your mother's house. Oh. Hey, oh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Now, how come these women... <laughs> So then what would happen? So then at some point, uh, they would always make a comment on my boobs for some reason. Right. Oh, look at no you. Now you're, 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 how would they do it? Like, they would be like, uh, they'd say something like, you're dirty. And like, but you're always wearing these oversized shirts. So how's everyone going to see those breasts under there? And I'd be like, this is the radio. I don't know why we're talking about this right now. This makes no sense. We got sense. a little live camera up here. The, uh, there's a uh, truck drivers jerking off to the show right now. Just give them a little, give them a little show. <laughs> <laughs> or I'd like I'd like get make a joke and then one guy'd be like, Oh, so women are funny? Ugh. And then yeah. I'd be like, I can't say what I yeah. want to say to you. And so are you on one of these and like maybe I could say something like yeah. So you're on one of these uh, dating apps? Like what's it like out there these days? Like because I'm married and I can't you know, I can't go on these apps. I can't go on these dates. What's it like on these dating apps? You know, one dick after another. I don't know what I was saying. No. <laughs> you know? Uh, I'm scaring away. Do you friends. love the road? Do you like getting out there? No, it's a nightmare. I'm exhausted. The, the airplanes? You don't like the airplanes? No, they stink. <laughs> it's a pile of farts. It's gross. I don't like it. All right, well, coming up later, we've got <laughs> Huey Lewis's guitar players coming in. He's going to talk about what it was like to work with Huey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I just get in trouble. Then I, like, I always say something wrong, so they have to bleep it out, and they get yeah. mad. You can't, you can't say tits on the radio. You would say you can't say it yabos. on our show either. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What? Matt, not did you yabos? not send along our list? I think you say like a different word. Yeah, yeah, like breasts I think is okay. Boobies I what think is fine. What a nightmare. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. I, Eric, this, I might have told this story before, but years and years and years ago, Eric and I did a phone-in to uh, Man Cow. Do you know Man <laughs> Cow? No. Man Cow's the worst. There, right, Doug? Do you know Man Cow? Oh, yeah. You he, must he know Man Cow. He was a DJ. Chicago guy. He was like stern level. Okay. Uh, but like much more of a brutish kind of, we should find like a clip of Man Cow just to get the tone, but just a nasty show, just mm-hmm. a nasty, loud, shitty morning, morning show. Mm-hmm. And th- so for some reason it was, you know, it was like a 6 a.m. call or something like that. We were on the road doing something, so we were in a hotel. Eric was in his room, this was 10 years ago, so service wasn't great, you know, like the sound of a cell phone wasn't great. 
and we call in. All right, hold on. Are you with Tim and Eric here? All right, hold on. We're going we're gonna, to uh, add you to the show in a minute here. So just stand by. And then we're like listening to the show. Mm-hmm. Nobody says like, all right, guys, you're on. They're just suddenly like, all right, now on the call is Tim and Eric. They've got a show, Tim and Eric, awesome show. Uh, great job on Adult Swim. Guys, oh, what's the God. deal? Are you guys? Oh, my yeah. God. He goes, what, what's the deal? Are you guys gay or something? <laughs> no. And we're, you know, we're just like, ha, ha, no, no. Uh, you know. Uh, oh, my God. No, we're just like, you know, we love uh, dressing up and doing weird stuff. Okay, and it, well, it's your stuff. Your stuff's weird, man. You know, it's like that. And then they just stopped talking to us and went on to something else without like wrapping it up or anything. It was just the wor- we're eventually like, eh, all right. <laughs> we hang up. You no, know, he, he is really he's best friends with uh, Roger Stone in in real life. Oh, really? Yeah, he really is. Yeah, there's all kinds of videos of him like pretending that there's a a drone strike on Roger on Roger Stone's house. Just the two of them out front of it. Fun filming. Yeah, all right. Fun um, bet. <laughs> Let me um, let me bring in a caller, because that is one of the big parts of the show. We got please. Uh, a lot of people want to talk to me. Some may want to talk to you. We're uh-huh. not sure. Okay. Okay. We'll find out. Okay. I want to talk about. I want to. We got to get through. We got to get through Halloween. We got to see what happened with yeah, you on yeah, Halloween. A lot going on. A lot going on. Yes. Lot and people want to know where you're from. Toronto. Okay. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Toronto, Canada. That's a yeah, normal think... answer. Yeah, yeah, That's yeah. That's what, what people what would expect. Say. Yeah. yeah. Feels like I'm from New York a lot, but. Sure. You got the. I got the. Voice. I got a voice and I got a couple eyes in my head. That's yeah. New York thing. <laughs> <laughs> Two eyeballs in Now, who the hell is this? Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. I don't know. What are you, I'm Home on Depot now? What are you, at the lumberyard? Uh, work at a warehouse, t-shirt company. How can Screen I help you? Print. Well, I wanted to quick say hello to Doug, and I saw him in Grand Rapids, Michigan. That's where I'm at. He signed my sign. I dressed up as a devil. Oh, that was you. Good horning. (laughs) Yeah, good horning. And uh, Steph, you're hilarious. Uh, uh, Your part in the Bill Burr movie was fantastic. Wait a minute. What's this part in a Bill Burr movie? You're in the old dads? I am in old dads. I got a big cameo. Uh Is it a a cameo? Is that how you're describing it? Yeah, I think so. (laughs) Thank you. Are you playing yourself? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. That's officially a cameo. Yeah. I haven't seen it yet. You got to see it. Apparently. (laughs) People people are loving it, Matt. What's the what's the Rotten Tomatoes on uh, oh, the huge. old dead? It's a juggernaut. What's the rating? Hundred. Okay, hundred percent on Rotten Is it really? Tomatoes. I don't know. No, I don't. I don't think so. Old dead. No, the people color. love it. No, it's a big hit. There it oh, is. There it is. Oh, look at him. Oh, there it is. Devil. What was it like to meet the devil, much. Doug? Oh, look at that. Big fan. That's cute. All right. Thank you. How was your Halloween? It was great. Uh, it was a little snowy out here, unfortunately, so not a lot of trick or treaters. Ah. So you were dressed like that by yourself, giving out no candy, <laughs> <laughs> just alone. <laughs> was at my uh, wife's oh. uh, mom's house. That sounds like a this. lot of fun. <laughs> yeah. Blast! <laughs> <laughs> Wife wasn't there, by the way. <laughs> it was just me and my mother-in-law on Halloween. <laughs> Yeah. She was dressed like a Playboy buddy. Not giving a yeah. candy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, th- that's nice of you to show up at the Eric Andre event with some o- office hours uh, deep cut uh, sign- signage there. Yeah, I had to keep the room a little more mellow in between all the puking and nudity. Oh, but... boy. Talk about a raunchy, yeah. filthy show. It's filthier than me. Yeah. Do you do any puking on stage? No, 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 no. Just ass um, fisting. On stage. <laughs> no, I, I wanted to see your reaction to saying that. I'm a club comic. That's what we all do. Now, do you get a lot of? Do you get a lot? Thank you for the call and your support, my friend. Good luck. Yeah. At the warehouse there. Yeah. No, let's let's pray there are no warehouse fires. Uh huh. This year. I think that's my cameo from old dads. That's what I can hear in the background. What is it? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Do you get a lot of pushback from the audience? Because no, my fear about doing like clubs on tour are, is I, I've been lucky enough where generally where I do live stuff, the people there are kind of have gone there to see me. Yes. And now you're going, you go out and you go and you are, not, maybe people are, 
a lot of people are there to see you, but there's also people there just to see comedy. Yes, yes, yes. And then they're sorely mistaken when I go on stage. <laughs> they're like, wait a second. Well, everyone has a different idea of what is yeah. funny and what's comedy. So what is the what what is the reaction from the crowd like? How do you deal with push? Uh, I, yeah, I'd say it's 70, 30 now for my shows. Positive. No, so that percent coming to see me. Yes. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then the 30% that are like, what the f- fuck is going on like yeah. there's people that are some I can I can get some on my side by the end of it but like last night at the store uh there's these uh family this Indian family and the the sister was so repulsed by me she kept looking away like I thought she was gonna throw up like she literally <laughs> the whole show was like and I kept commenting on it she was like I just can't and she was like so <sighs> offended by everything I was saying what can you give me a sample of what you're saying oh I said that oh, I hate um, to just dip right into well your hands, but. I, I I said that um I tried to make my pussy look younger so I shaved it and then I was like uh oh opposite weathered old gal <laughs> haggard old thing right, <laughs> and she right. was just like so <laughs> well she's also with her parents yeah 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 her her, her brother and her her Mom and they were not. The mom was kind of laughing, but I don't think she knew what I was saying. Yeah. Um, but now, because I've been doing like a lot of crowd work, so people come to my shows expecting the crowd work. Right. So if I don't do the crowd work, they get annoyed, or they like, I'll have women bring their husbands in the front row and be like, "Look how ugly my fucking husband is." Tell him to his face. And I'm like, oh "What?" Like, so you're like, now it's Donna so Rickles. bizarre. I am. It's you're so Donna insane. Rickles. Yeah. <laughs> I should change my stage name. Donna um, Rickles. Yeah, but I think it's, I don't know, it's fine. I'm, I'm getting... It's starting to really I know. drive me insane, I'm sorry, Matt. Tim. The cough? The, can we AI out the cough in real time? <laughs> what, is that me? No, it's, it's Matt. It's, it's, oh, it's, it's, Vic? A, it's Vic. I thought we were getting him a cough box. Right? I know, I'm waiting for my cough I've, box. We put you cough in some box. kind of a, <laughs> a, a scuba, a glass like a scuba helmet. Go home and get your fucking a bark shot co- Someone suggest a bark collar. <laughs> How about a fucking yeah, yeah. cough drop? Yeah. Go home and get your fucking Where are they? Get some Ludens down here. No. True. I'd be to I'd be into a Luden sponsorship. <laughs> Wild cherry Ludens. <laughs> I'd be ass. Um oh it's shit. Funny. I, was, I was gonna say something too. What the hell? <laughs> totally <laughs> lost my train of thought. Something you know, about the yelling the day. and yelling at huh? men. City of the day. Give yourself a break. Yeah, am I too wired today? Oh no, I don't am know. I, you just wound needed, up? you needed to re uh Is this you wound up? <laughs> I can't, I can't Donna tell. Rickles. Donna Rickles got you really excited. You got That's too right. into that that reference, and then now you got stuff. Yeah. What kind of stuff do people want it that they subject matter do people respond to most? Palest- um, Palestine Israel stuff. Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm huge with that. I go right from my big fat pussy to my Palestine bit, <laughs> and uh, it is it's a segue. Uh, I'll tell you that. Yeah. Oh well, this was my uh, what I was going to say, and it's f- certainly not something to. Spend too much time on. Oh God! But it reminded me that yesterday I was in. I go to this little gym that's a pretty small gym, as you could tell. It's not a big gym. (laughs) 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 They they have a a, a limit on the weight. Ten pound weights is the highest. (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's a kind of gym you have to crouch into. It's very small. But no, it's a fairly small gym, and it was just me. And then a guy came in, who I've who was coming before. Uh, alone. It's just usually me and him. Sometimes. Well, this the other time was what, just me and him. What are you guys gay? Okay. Well, the radio host call back. Go yeah, on. exactly. <laughs> it goes this. It goes that way a little bit. But he's a nice guy. And the last time he was in here, he didn't have his headphones. He was like, "Do you mind if I listen to this podcast?" And I was like, "Sure," because I actually don't like to listen to stuff when I'm doing my thing. So I just wanna, wait, he, he wanted to listen to it like in the room. In the like, room, yeah. On a speaker. Whoa. That's yeah. crazy. On his phone. On his That's phone. crazy. That's insane. Yeah. Get, but here's the good news. I liked it because he he had uh, it was Mark Marin, okay. and he had on Bernie Taupin, who's Elton John's songwriting partner. Okay. So I was like, I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, again me with giving people space, giving uh, serenity now. Said sure if that <laughs> I'm not gonna yeah. go. First of all, I don't want to be in the uncomfortable position to. Mm. It was a little audacious of him to suggest. It's crazy. Is, do you mind if I play this? Did he say what podcast it was first? No, and I was oh. totally expecting. A Rogan. Rogan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But a huge fan. Or smartless. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Where are you at? <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> but I was sort of relieved. Okay. I was like, actually, this is nice. I like, I didn't, I didn't, I had not heard the Taupin mm-hmm. uh, interview, so I was enjoying that. And then, so that was a, a month or so ago, and then yesterday it happened again where I was by myself. He came in, and I think he now is, understands as a precedent for there's a, a, a I allow it. So no, he asked again. A big mistake. He asked again. I say, I don't need this shit. I actually remembered not having a big deal. Not having. I actually don't have a big problem with that, <laughs> as Paul would say. 
Um, so it was Marin again. <laughs> really likes Marin. This time he had on Rob Halford, who we talked about last week from Judas Priest. I'm not a okay. huge fan. Now, <laughs> I also didn't have a problem with it, except when there was this part of the show where they talked about jerking off in hotel rooms and uh, and watching porn on, you know. And, and luckily they didn't, they didn't, didn't like uh, stay on it too long. They kind of pushed through it a bit. But at some point it was just me and this guy working out in the gym <laughs> listening to two other guys talking about jerking off to porn. Ew, ew, that's <laughs> and, you know, that just, just so fun. <laughs> and I just kind of <laughs> let it go. It was actually great. I, mean, I highly recommend the interview. It was very, very, actually quite a beautiful little conversation. The jerking off part? No. Okay. The, in general. They okay. were talking about <laughs> God and death and all this heavy stuff. Wow, I never went into that. Yeah, it seems like a really well-rounded podcast. It didn't well then go into podcast. that. It, kind of, okay. it went, okay. it started with this idea of like, mm -hmm. what, this, we're not doing like, we're not doing a, a Mark Maron wrap-up show, by the way, in case anyone's confused. Oh, you don't do top 10 Mark Maron guests of the year? <laughs> no, we don't year, do At the end of the year, at the end of your year, your year in review is Mark Maron's top 10 guests. The must listen to. Um, <laughs> you are opening up a can of worms out to him. Like he's just gonna get more comfortable with you. Yeah, yes. this is. And, and then. Hey, do you want a spot? You don't need me, you yeah. need me to spot you on I those mean, 10 pound weights? Yeah, what, you wanna get a beer after this? I'm yeah. gonna ask to do Mark Maron's podcast just so I can do a horrendous episode with him. <laughs> that I have and to then listen you have to. to listen. <laughs> you should make him listen to your episode on there. Yeah. Oh, well, you, tell he, him. Yeah, he knows who you are, Tim. He the must. guy in the gym? Yeah. I don't know. He's, he he's like my age or maybe even a little older. So Tim, you should put on your, we should put on the Office Hours mm -hmm. podcast where you talk to Mark. Oh. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. 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 Uh, you should. Real inception situation. <laughs> yeah. We thought we had shot our load. <laughs> All right. Well, so that was what I wanted to, I guess that was worth stopping the it show was. to talk about. And we, then we did talk about it for longer than you said. We do have to get to the city of the day. We have to stay on schedule today. because we, we only have staff for the hour today. We will do a full show. City of the Day is actually, to be honest with you, uh, sponsored by, and in a lot of ways it is. <laughs> <laughs> I like your stalling techniques. <laughs> City of the Day sponsored by Thunderclap Flippers. Are you a devoted fan or proud parent whose hands are constantly sore from all the applause you give? Well, now you can clap stronger and longer than ever with Thunderclap Flippers. This comfortable slip-on armwear allows you to applaud loudly and give you a fuller slap without the pain. <laughs> now you can make sure your kid gets the most praise at the school play or encourage your team the loudest at the big game. Our flippers, excuse me, our does Stephen Colbert burp during his show, by the way? <laughs> the fl our flippers deliver up to 130 decibels so you can be the center of attention in the crowd while cheering on your favorite kid, team, or band. And you can even walk around like a sea lion if you wish. So start showing the world who the biggest fan is with the Thunderclap Flippers, available at big5sportinggoods.def. <laughs> Office Hours listeners get a free <laughs> pair of military-grade noise protection earmuffs at checkout by using the code phrase, I clap louder. Now here's the jingle. Of course, it's gonna be slap sound effect. All right. Woo. Nice work, Doug. Who is our city of the day? True. Hello. Hello. Howdy. Fan is you? on high. <laughs> uh, yeah. Wait, let's try, to, here. let's try to guess where he... Oh, it's it's cold there, but you have the fan on. Yeah. Um, I'm going New Jersey. You're close. I know. <laughs> Pennsylvania. Yes, actually. All there right. Then it's definitely got to be... Uh, Doylestown. Not even close. Lancaster. No. Pittsburgh, no. Yeah, Pittsburgh. Yes. Well, yeah, yeah, Pittsburgh. Steph got it. Bing, uh, bang, boom. There she you was go. down. Oh, and the office hours crew with Steph were down. Oh, and two. And bing, bang, boom. 
Steph totally uh, I'd like to the home run. formally apologize to Doug because I was offered a free ticket to the Eric Andre show and I just did not go. Yeah. And I missed Suddenly him. nobody knows how to play baseball anymore. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's okay. I forgive you. What does Doug Thanks. give a shit? He, well, he doesn't give a shit. If you're there I gave him the ticket. Probably. Oh. I, I probably put him on the list. I put you on the list and you didn't show up. Why that didn't you go? That is a sign of disrespect. Why didn't you go to my show? I just, all four of my tires on my car popped on the way to the show. No, they okay. didn't. Yeah, right. <laughs> Prove it. Wait, what? Goodbye. They, Wait all a minute. Four of them popped. I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm turning. Wait, hold popped? on. Time out. Time out. <laughs> I'm turning this over to the human lie detector. Oh, oh, oh the human lie go. detector is in is, is okay. in <laughs> session. <laughs> All right, lay, let's back it up a minute, sir. So, sir, go ahead, Vic. You take yeah. over, and sir, I will. Uh, so, this is a story you're telling, Doug. Um, what did uh, when did you first come about the ticket? Uh, the day of, actually, the morning of. And how how did you do this? My one friend messaged me on Snapchat you saying have... that he had a ticket. Who's your which one? Which I, I didn't know Who... then that a message on Snapchat was like the beginning of the end already. That's You talked to your one oh. friend through Snapchat? Correct, yeah. <laughs> just yes or no, He's please. Making it tough. Yes or no, please, um, right? Isn't that what the yeah. judge yells yeah, at so, these guys? Yeah, just say yes or no. Um, Am I the judge? Or are you the judge, Matt? So, you, you could be the judge. What uh, Rough mileage... <laughs> to uh the uh, venue from where you live about 21 miles i would say okay well that's i mean that could be pretty pretty quick in a car or a uber pittsburgh might be a little i mean maybe a 40 minute drive would that be about right yeah 45 minutes i would say and what and uh and the reason you didn't go is His tires popped. He's Stay, no, wait, no, 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 I just <laughs> want to hear it again. I want to hear it again. I thought it was a yes or no question. I'm, oh, yeah. I'm well, no, I, it's I'm not always having... yes or no. No, no not the human no, I think he, I think because... We're getting there. I'm, my, pause, pause. My results are... Yeah. Pause. Because we established uh, this, this, that we're doing a lie detector after this news came in, mm. we have to reestablish the facts from his... Right. From, by him saying it. Right. And then, and then... So I don't think it's just yes or no. I think you, should, you have to ask him... Why didn't? What is your excuse for not going to the show? Investigators and detectives—they don't just say, <laughs> "Ask yes or no questions." There's I know. I don't know. Where I was just reversing that, that question. Question. That's through a wrench. Oh yeah. <laughs> no question. Right. Back to Vic. He started going. So, right. so, so Doug, I think please. you should do it your way, not the way uh, Matt forced right. you. To well, do. yes, right. but Doug, also please temper your uh, engagement here. All right, can you get the? You drone? were answering for the witness. Yeah, and that, that throws the, the lie detector completely off. Now the I forget what happened. You okay. were gonna get oh. the story of oh, why yeah. he couldn't go, I believe. That's okay, so you you're go. so you allegedly can I have the the, you need the music. thoughtful music. You need the music. Allegedly, your tire or tires popped. How many tires popped? All four of them. That's a lie. He is lying about his tire popping. Okay, sir, that's the verdict from the human <laughs> lie detector. Uh, I need your utmost honest answer. Is he correct? Uh, yes. What? Hey. Look at that. Well, of course. My tires. So. Your tires did not pop, is that correct? Three of them did. Not, not all four. Three of them? Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> Come on. What, what are you no. doing? Hey. What are you doing to us here? <laughs> you trying to ruin my show? Yeah. I was a goof, and I had work. I work at a big warehouse as well. This is the warehouse. Episode. I got to get people <laughs> on the show that like the show that don't work in warehouses. <laughs> All right, Big I need, warehouse following. I, I need executives. I, I need, you know what I mean? I can't I've deal been, with this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody uh, that watches the show works at a fucking warehouse. <laughs> How can I be successful if everybody's just working at warehouses? <laughs> you guys got to move up in this in the class system here. Listen. The bottom Listen. of the fucking food. No, I'm just kidding. I've been, I'm just playing around. Every, First of all, of office, peace and love to everybody. Yeah, you got to work in a tire a tire warehouse so you, don't, you can get to shows. <laughs> got to get to Doug's show. Point. Yeah. Good, go. That is a good point. Yeah. There it is. Wait, he was saying something, then he was chopping out. I said, uh, I've been listening to every episode of Office Hours from front to back at work. Yeah. And I listened to the full eight-hour stream in one shift. <laughs> well, you got an eight-hour shift, the union <laughs> man. I think that's like, Rearranged like the way my synapses fire in my brain. 
Wow. After listening to 10 hours of office hours every day. That's crazy. Like we do not recommend that. Yeah. Yeah, I was like, no, I, I would not. I was, I heard a great joke in the uh, seminal Halloween classic. The only horror movie I like, I think. The only. <laughs> the only horror movie. No, the cl- a classic from the Universal days, the Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Love that movie. So Lou Costello getting getting into it with one of these, uh, you know, whoever he is, the, the jackass and the whole thing, you know, some asshole. And he's like, I work 16 hours. I'm a union man. I work 16 hours a day. And he goes, union men only work eight hours a day. He goes, I belong to two unions. <laughs> <laughs> Very clever. Is yeah, well. <laughs> well, this this Luke Costello is not all there. No, no, he's a little bit of a man child. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shouldn't be given any responsibility. Maybe I'll go with Luke Costello next year for Halloween. <laughs> you're, giving, you're giving me ideas. Your pants up to here. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. High five! High five! I love if I the part like that all night. Then I want to do that. The favorite. I, I love that movie though. I do. I don't. I'm not a huge Abbott and Costello fan, generally, mm. Vic. Yeah, I mean, you talk about them a lot. Though. I do like, love do that like movie, them. though. Yeah. There's this great scene where he's, "Thank you very much. Get back to work, you warehouse bum." <laughs> All right, but... keep stocking the warehouse. <laughs> um, there's this scene. Lou and Abbott, Lou and Bud, are uh, loading in these this, these coffins into this spooky house. <laughs> As they would, yeah. 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 That was their job. Up, they just up to a scene. This yeah. whole, I'll do it. I'll tell you what this okay, movie's about. Okay. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, my God. Doug, you have. This is one of your classic recaps. <laughs> I've <laughs> never <laughs> seen it, of course. You've never seen a- Lou- Abbott and Costello I'm meet I'm more into Abbott Laboratories. <laughs> <laughs> you like your, your COVID test? <laughs> <Like> diagnostics. <laughs> I'm not on. Well, anyways. Um, Abbott and Costello work at this shipping. They, they, they're like the UPS, okay. like one of these UPS places. They get this shipment in from this guy that runs a house of horrors place. It's like a wax museum kind of thing. And he's like, I've got these two uh, coffins coming. One's got Dracula and one's got the Frankenstein monster. <laughs> I need you idiots to deliver it. Like they, for some reason, they get the thing delivered to them. But then they also now have, to, he's got to sign for it. And then they're the ones that got to deliver it to the house of horrors. Mm-hmm. And there's this whole conversation about like, if if something happens to these cases, it's on you, you dimwits, right? Uh-huh. So they're like, they're delivering it to this this wax museum hor- house of horrors, mm-hmm. alone, like without the guy there. The guy's not there for some reason. <laughs> Doors wide open. Yeah, 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 yeah classic. It's at night. Yeah, of course it's at night. Yeah. And so they're delivering it. They're like, tink, 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 taking off the wood, like unpacking the whole thing. Every, yeah. <laughs> Lou Costello is already so scared to be in this place. <laughs> Everything he looks like. <laughs> right? He's, but for some reason, Bud Abbott so, says like, you finish unpacking this. I got to go back to the truck and do whatever. Like, I don't know what he's got to do. Yeah. He's got to get the other box or something. As soon as he leaves, Dracula starts coming out of this coffin. Right? He's, just, he's <laughs> creeping out of the coffin. Lou sees it. Yeah! <laughs> Abbott comes back in. No evidence that Dracula is in. And no evidence. What are you? What's the matter with you? Stop screaming. There's nothing here. That happens like four times. He lives. I gotta go back to the truck. He goes back to the truck. Fucking Lou immediately. Immediately, this like the thing starts creeping up. But the best is he, th- he screams like three times. The fourth time. Lou, his, his mouth's all dry. He can't even get it out. <laughs> Don't go to tag it. It's the best. <laughs> Better than Stooges? That scene is, is up there, yeah. It's, it's very well shot, too. It, like, it's like handled by one of the actual horror directors and everything. Mm-hmm. Anyways, it's a great movie. Great flick. It's fun. And Lon kids liked my kids loved it. The real Lon Chaney's in it. Yeah, all those they're, they're those like, Universal yeah, Studios horror it. guys are in it. Mm-hmm. Now, Steph, what did you dress up as? Thank you, Doug. Well, here's the thing. I'm sorry I took so much it, time. You're away taking from your a lot of time out of your own podcast. Um, <laughs> the issue is, I thought I, I like doing these costumes. So two years ago, I dressed up like as Martin Short's Clifford. That's cute. It is cute. A guy kissed me, and I was like, Crystal Lee, I'll get out of here. Um, <laughs> I looked exactly like a 12 year old boy. Um, get wow. down. Uh, so this year, are you I, one of these anti-Crystalia people? 
Hey, I don't what? have time for a month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 I am. Yeah. I, I assume Crystal, you are. Yes, I am. I'm just I kidding. Was like, I mean, yeah. no. <laughs> like, this, can you imagine? You're pro Crystal Lee. I had no one knew until right now. This, this, uh, you can, I mean, what's the what's the documentary that was on YouTube? The Problem with Crystal Lee is that a documentary. Have you watched is, it? I did. It's that, fucked. It's fucked. This guy what? shouldn't be anywhere near no. anybody. No, 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 no. Yikes. Locked like away. Yeah. He should be in that little coffin that locked up like the Easy little. Easy now. Like uh, he should be in Dracula bro, an institution of yeah, some yeah. kind. No, 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 I was like, there's a Nivea cream. I was That's like, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some YouTube video <laughs> that anyone cream. could just make up anything they want to say and put on YouTube. And well, you're gonna this, this felt fairly well researched. Yeah, like it was quite well researched. Also, there's a huge Reddit thread where we can read all the girls' testimonies who um, uh, filed like reports on him and stuff and lawsuits. Yeah. Anyways. Anyways, I bad dressed guy. up the bad guy. So bad guy. No question about it. Um, I thought it this would be year. funny this year. This year, I thought. <laughs> I thought it would be very You're funny. At your own I pictures. am because I look so fucking ugly. I I dressed up as Tobias from Arrested Development, season three, episode seven, the graph versus host, where he gets the hair plugs and he doesn't want to get them removed, and then he gets. So I show up to this pretty woke party in this wheelchair that I rented. Big ordeal. Seventy five dollars to rent this wheelchair. I had to go back to this place in Burbank twice. They were closed for lunch break when I went up. It's big oh. big ordeal. So I I go in thinking I'm coming in hilarious. So I have my friend. We carry the wheelchair up, and then I open the door and I go. <clears throat> and I do a big clearing my throat. I come in. No one at the party knows who I am personally. Right. And now I'm just a person. Well, in a why wheelchair. are you going to this party to begin with? Well, because I bought the I got the room no. wheelchair. Well, were you invited? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But I really had. I just had. <laughs> I was, like but I couldn't find the person control. whose party it was. So I walked. Oh, okay. I came in, and it was a bunch you of knew really. The, you knew who's, the host. Whose party? Yes. You yeah. don't want to say. I no no. I don't want to say who it is. It's a, it's a celebrity person. Really? Yes. This She's is like a big reality control. star. I don't know. She she was on the Bachelorette. Uh, well, so I wouldn't know who this no, person I, exactly. is. No, exactly. I didn't, I didn't watch but why do you? how do you know this because person? Because she's dating my good friend. Okay. Yeah, she's dating my friend. So it was like a bunch of hip lesbians. So I go in as this, immediately offended. No one knew what my costume was. So they <laughs> yeah, couldn't, it's a total, so they total couldn't, curb situation. Yeah, yeah. So they literally couldn't tell if I was like actually in well, a wheelchair. It's a, I mean, to be honest, it's a, it's a fairly obscure. <laughs> it's a very obscure costume. And yeah, I was laughing at myself. Look at that. That's hideous. Because it's also like that character from that show doesn't normally look like this at all. No, so no, no, no. It's a very, it's very was he specific. only like this in one episode? Yeah, I think it was one or two episodes he was okay. like this. And then I kept falling out of the wheelchair and having a hard time getting back in. Uh, oh, this, he you, does sound that. Like the, you sound like the nightmare at the party. <laughs> I was. And then one, at one point this guy was so annoyed. He looks at me and he goes, I can't tell if this is a bit or you need fucking help. And I was like, oh, okay, what? I have to get out What a of nightmare of a party. No, it was. It, I was. I lasted maybe 25 minutes and then so I So were people actively uh, like getting in your face about being offended that you were No, they just were completely ableist? ignoring me. Completely ignoring me. And then I'd be like, Arrested Development, season three, episode seven. <laughs> I would have ignored you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you would have. Well, I don't know. I mean, if I didn't, if, uh, if I knew, I knew you. I know, I know you. Okay, you I've just, met you before. Yes, we did a show together. Yes, we had a nice little chat. A good chat. We had we had a nice big green chat. room. Nice green room experience. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, Steph, great. Another per <laughs> a person I like in this world. Yeah, yeah, good, right good. away, right? Good, good, good. You felt the same way about me. Yes, and then I come in in a wheelchair in the in the green room. I always room, said, hey, you? I always said, I always said, hey, good to see you. And and then you would have explained what's going on there. Yes, because I probably wouldn't have gotten the reference right yeah, away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And huh. That would have been that. That's that's that. There it is. I mean, part of what's fun is I, I, we went. To, I went to Matt and I went to a Halloween party. Tom Sharpling's. I can say, I think it's fair to say, Matt. Very fair. How woke was it? <laughs> well, there was plenty of wokesters there, but <laughs> I mean, what did you dress up as? I was just. Uh, do we have a picture of me? It's oh, been. It's all over the internet. Let me look. Oh yeah, you uh, did you post it? Yeah. Frankenstein. Right. Right. Okay. It's just a classic. Classic. See, easy yeah, for people. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to make things too difficult. I, I like a niche costume. I think I, I was Weird Al one year. That was good. Yeah. Weird my, Al well, my friend Jason Walliner had on this costume that was, uh, you know that story about the Mexican um, alien? The guy that in Mexico they found an alien? Yeah. Oh, this is big news. That was a great costume. Yeah. Tim, they're called immigrants. They're Easy. Wow. Oh. What is this too woke for my la to laugh at my joke? <laughs> See, that's cool, right? That's you. Oh, yeah. I didn't know Frankenstein looked like that. Okay. <laughs> I had a very different idea of Frankenstein. And there I am in my with head. Mark I didn't know that was Fra Frankenstein either. Yeah, I, I would like, not guess that. Frankenstein doesn't that. have long hair like that. Oh. 
right? Yeah, well, <laughs> is that Phantom of the Opera? I had no on the idea side? who you were. Yeah. He doesn't have Larry Fine. Here. I went as Phantom of the Opera. Well, look, he's got the same fine. water as I do. <laughs> uh, my fir- my mom dressed me up as Phantom of the Opera on grade five, and I had no idea what I was, and my nose didn't fit in the mask because yeah. I had a big nose as a kid. Well, it's still. There. I was gonna say, did anything? It's, it did. It did it, wow, <laughs> did anything change? Hey, what are we back in the morning radio show again? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm the club comic. Yeah. Um, and I couldn't breathe the whole day. It was a nightmare. Ugh. Yeah. My kids had these ter- these costumes that were horrifying, and they they were full masks, and they couldn't. Uh, See anything? You can't breathe in there. The, the nose holes are never big enough. No. Pinpricks. Anyway. Um, Jesus, that one scared me. Good God. Well, <laughs> I think I would have given you grace. I would have Thank said, you. you know what, whatever. I, just, I think it's you're doing a character. Like, I think there's lines you don't want to cross. I don't think you want to go, like, you, you know, black faces. Out of the question. Yeah, yeah. I'm not my uh, prime any minister. Cultural appropriation yeah, yeah, yeah. is kind no, of excited. But listen, <laughs> any anybody that that is in a wheelchair and wants to counter that argument, feel free. Yeah, it's, it's a free uh, country. Yes. It is. Yeah, 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 yeah. It wasn't a free wheelchair. Again, it was that's seventy-five dollars. Yeah. yeah, it was seventy-five. I think anybody that it. spends more than twenty-five dollars in their Halloween costume yeah. is a boob. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now, are you doing a show on actual Halloween? Yes. It was in Pittsburgh, Copy Pennsylvania. That. Now, Vic, why weren't you? Should we get into why you weren't at the uh, Tom Sharpling Halloween party? Yeah, if you want, if you want to. I yes. guess. It's I up mean, to you. It's your show. You should wear the hat <laughs> and determine yeah, if he's yeah, lying. If he's lying yeah, or not. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, you could be a guy with a tiny well, head. I know the story. Big hat, tiny yeah. head. Well, I just, uh, yeah, I just kind of got into it. Well, I didn't get into it, but. My son and I were throwing a baseball around, a, 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 just a rubber ball, thrown around. I missed it, and it rolled into my neighbor's yard. Oh man! Into the into the driveway, mm-hmm. and they've gone. They've had issues with me before. <laughs> The, I, don't I, have, I don't have issues with them, right? But they have issues with me. From what you've told us, uh, I don't know yeah, how much you've yeah, spent on the show. Yeah, but you've probably. told us plenty. Mm-hmm. These these. Uh, these people seem a little unhinged. Yeah, okay. a little unhinged. A little and wild, I, little now, wild. now I kind of know what's going on, so I can chill out a little bit. But she like got up in my face, and she's like, "You little bitch," she calls me a little, little bitch. bitch. I'm a little bitch. I and she, I can hear her say that like across the street whenever I'm out. Are, are you? How tall are you? I'm five nine. Well, so yeah, so you're, a yeah, yeah you're a little bitch. Yeah, you're a little bitch. Yeah, <laughs> he'd fit perfectly in my little gym. That's right, exactly. <laughs> and uh, no, Vic's a big boy. Yeah, and I, I, I can handle myself. I can handle myself. Okay. And uh, they. Um, so all, all you did was this, this rubber ball, this baseball. Yeah. Rolls across the street and in, into up, her. Into their driveway. Into their driveway. And I just like because they've had issues with me before. I'm not. I'm not gonna go get it. I'm not gonna go on their yard. And so, so I just like let it go, and then we went up. To <laughs> Is the that park. the ball bouncing across? Yeah. The street. <laughs> <laughs> so. We went up to the park, we're throwing around, hitting around, come back, and she, like, flags me down. Is this your ball? Is this your ball? And I'm like, yeah, 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 sorry about that. Well, it hit my truck, and there's a big no. white mark. It's like, no. No. <laughs> and, and I'm like, that yeah, yeah. didn't happen, because, like, I watched it. You know, it did not yeah. happen. And if it did, I, you know, we would have figured something out, but... There's no way. It's just a rubber ball. It's just a rubber ball. I mean, you could like your. Uh, what are you, uh, Joe Rogan, with that arrow at the uh, yeah. Tesla car? Do you see yeah. that? The no. Tesla if you're truck. a little bitch, you can't throw that <laughs> you hard. You can't do that exactly. Yeah. And it's my seven-year-old son, who is probably stronger than me. But like, he didn't like, you know, didn't it didn't do anything. Okay. So but then she's like, "Well, I'm. Uh, what, would you like it if I threw that ball at your car?" And I'm, I'm like, yeah, 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 I don't care. Go sure. ahead. <laughs> go Whatever ahead. you want to do, go ahead. If you want to <laughs> film your own crime, go ahead. Because she yeah. told me that, like, their camera, she put cameras up so Good. she can watch my okay. house. Sam, yeah, really? show, show me the footage. Yeah, I know. That's yeah. what I, that's what I said. To, I said, show me. To... I, don't care. So, I don't care. Like, what? I'm, you know, let's just. This I'm happened to, like, on that on Saturday. Cares. That's yeah. the day of the yeah, party. Like right, like before, because I was going to come out. Like myself, our babysitters fell through. Uh, Ridiculous. Like, well, we can't, the, it's the hardest. The human night. lie detector says that that is the truth. That is actually true. <laughs> that is actually true. That is yeah. true. And then I was going to go myself, and then that I got all worked up and I got stressed out. You should have gone as the neighbor. I, I could. Oh my <laughs> god, it's real scary. angry. Yeah. How how I, old is this woman? Uh, probably like. 55, I'd Did say. you lose it on her? Oh, yeah, I lost it, yeah. Tim, I, oh, he forgot yeah. to mention this important part of the story. Mm, what? He was dressed up as Barbie. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> She's coming over like, you little bitch. Uh, <laughs> He's wearing like this No, he was dressed hat. up like Toto from The Wizard of Oz. Right. <laughs> <laughs> And that was. He was yeah. also in a wheelchair. He was. He was also doing Tobias. <laughs> so she's like, I don't get the reference of this costume right now. I have no idea who the fuck you are, you little bitch. No, it's, a, it's an Asian bitch, woman across really the funny. street, and he's dressed up like Jackie Chan. Yeah, that's, that's, that's Mickey, Mickey Rooney. In, Mickey uh, Rooney in the uh, <laughs> Breakfast at Tiffany's. Listen, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Yeah, and that. Yeah, so then I didn't know what to do, and then my wife comes out and she's yelling at me to, to chill. Oh no, you know you're me? getting it from both ends. So then, so then, and, and she <laughs> rightly so, she's telling me to chill because like, but yeah. like. But like I was in the middle of this, like I knew all the context, I knew what was going on, and I and even though I'm loud, I was sort of under control. But that kind of like elevated things for me, and then I didn't know what to do, and I went mm. across the street to Antonio, who kind of knows everybody in the neighborhood. He runs the the block. Yeah, he's like the mayor of, of oh, the yeah. block, and mm. I, I'm like tapping on the window, and I'm. I was so I don't even I I don't remember anything. Maybe wow. I killed someone. You blacked I don't even out. Know. Really? That's yeah. I, I that's it was like the anger. You're like, like Alan okay. Ruck. You like, see I'm that sure. video? Oh, oh yeah, we'll get to that. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, and then and then Antonio he hides. Where he doesn't come out. He like he he oh, hears. I talked to him later. He everybody's heard it against all. Vic. I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's but what it but is. I apologize for giving you shit about your cough. It was bothering uh, no, me. But you don't need that. You don't need that, Vic. Uh, <clears throat> thank you. You brought it up. You know, See, cop. this is my, my son know, is the same thing. It's psychosomatic. psychosomatic. Okay, I'll oh, use that together. Sin- psychosomatic, addict, insane. What's that song? <laughs> yeah, what is that song? You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, it's like uh, the prodigy. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's a pressure. Yeah, no, yeah. 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 All right. Yeah. So that's why you did. That's a terrible. Oh, bit, but then man. and then yeah. So then I talked to Mr. Antonio two days later, and he said. Because I thought they're like best friends, but like she yells at him too, okay. which I didn't. So yeah, so it's like yeah. not personally me. And yeah. That stuff you gotta always to like do, until it be- like, until it escalates to like really becoming a problem. Yeah. You just gotta like brush that shit off as best you yeah. can. Or be overly Hi. nice. Yeah, you yeah. gotta yeah. be overly I nice. I mean, Vic, you gotta take the high road and you gotta say stuff like, "I'm gonna pray for you." <laughs> yeah. You know, exactly. like go yeah, over yeah. the no, top you, you, about. Yeah. Oh, you yeah. know what, well, Vic? I can uh, can I tell you that? Can yeah. I tell this that this happened a while ago? There was an altercation before things got really bad. And and Vic is, uh, delivered them a six pack of beer oh, yeah, on their yes, doorstep. Yes. Oh, what yes. happened to that six pack of beer? An hour later, it came back onto my uh, doorstep. Really? So at that point, you're just like, well, no, fuck you. Gotta you gotta stop. Yeah. My yeah. dad's been fighting with our neighbor since we moved in, uh-huh. and it's like now it's escalated to the point where it's 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 it's, it's gonna get out of control. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, my dad one time pushed his window down and punched him in the throat. Really? Watched yeah. that. Yeah, it was crazy. It was crazy. It's like, wow. uh, I was really young. It's like, I was like Rand you Paul. Do that? Yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> right? Rand Paul. Do they still live next to each other? Oh, yeah, but he's the guy's old now and he's okay. got goiters on his neck. But my it's dad still thing. looks at the window and calls him a fucking loser. And oh I'm like, the guy's going to, like, it's over. Is this in Canada? It's in Canada. It's wow. in Toronto. East York, to be wow. specific. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah. Um, I don't think we're going to get to this Alan Ruck news. Let's take another call and, and wrap things up with Steph because. She's got to get out of here. I don't want to yeah. go now. I'm having fun. I know. Well, why don't we go? We can go a little late. Why don't we make don't the we first late, half a little have to leave exactly. All right. Yeah, dude. I'm not a crazy guy. Stuff going on. I'm having Hang fun. I'm farting. Don't you know I got to eat at noon? Uh, well, I'm saying we go like. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, if I don't eat at noon every fucking day. <laughs> we still end at noon. We make the second half a little shorter. Well, we'll see. Well, I don't mind going a little long. I'm just kidding. Uh, let's Steph. check in on the hotline. <laughs> like, get her out of here. You want me out of here. <laughs> Can't have I any don't want to raunch on this no, fucking I believe, show. I believe what you're picking up on is you're just getting warmed up here. I'm getting warmed up. And you, you've been warm, believe me. <laughs> but the audience wants to see you get hot. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see if this hothead hotline caller can get oh, us here we go. hot under the oh, collar. Oh, yeah, let's go. 971, you're on the air. <laughs> 971, you're on the air. Hello. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Fuck you! All right, we're That's dropping it. you. All right, That's let's it. do this. I, I got this. Um, got a mail, some mail. Open oh. the mail. Mail from uh, Mary Jane. Mary Ann. In a granola oh, Mary box. Ann from Canada. McTro. No, I'm just oh, from Lethbridge. From my uh, wife. You know Lethbridge. I know Lethbridge. Yeah. Uh, Alberta, right? Yeah. It's a gift. I see it. It's a postcard, and Soiled. it's uh, crab jelly. Yuck. What? Oh. Well, I hope this is just a joke. You got to read her note. Okay, I'll read the note. Sefe, sef, fef, sefe, noi. Sefe, soy, fef, noi. Sefe, <laughs> new, <laughs> I'm having wow, a stroke. oh my God. Sefe, new, hi, fellows. I've been spending most Saturdays for the last uh, six weeks catching up on OHL while I make jelly. Thought I'd send you a jar to say thanks. Thanks for uh, thanks for the label as well. I'm also including some coasters 
There's some oh. coasters in here. Woke mugs. Uh, okay, oh. cute. Hand woven. Yeah, look at that. Hand woven. Uh, you guys rule. So n- no indication of what is this f- actual flavor. It's, I, it I'm is. It crab. is on there. There's a little yeah, yeah. note. Uh, it's apple. Oh, okay. it's apple. Oh, I apple. wanted. To oh, crab. See, it says apples there. Oh, I wanted crab. I wanted to be crab. Tim Apple. <laughs> Trying to get there. <laughs> Tim um, apple. Well, thank you very much, Marianne. Very apple. sweetie. <laughs> It's never too late to catch Tim up Apple. on old episodes. Tim. <laughs> At patreon.com slash office hours live. Um, where, where, so you are, you are hitting the road? Are you on? Yeah, I've been on the road for a long time. And where, where, where can people find <laughs> that information? <laughs> on my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram. Oh, Steph Tola. You don't There's want a to fucking promote, link. do you? I do want to promote. Yeah, please goddamn come. It's a nightmare when I do shows and the next day everyone's like, when are you in Las Vegas? And I, I was like, I would, what the fuck is that? No, I'm actually losing my mind over this. I know. I think people are gaslighting us. They have to be. Why don't you ever come to Salt Lake City? I just did Salt Lake City. Why the fuck I lied like at the end of the door? 24 hours ago. Like, and it's nobody was there. Yeah. No, no, <laughs> well, that's exactly There what were tickets to be had, believe yeah, me. Yeah, several in Vegas. How um, often do you fly, Steph? Every single weekend. Do you fly every yourself or weekend. do you use a pilot? Yeah, I use a pilot. Yeah. <laughs> I sit on the pilot's lap, actually. <laughs> I've been using uh, go, a pilot. Do you mind if I sit on your lap again? Yeah, um, I've been using a pilot. Um, Delta has a good service. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where it's, using, you have to share yeah. the, you know, it's like you you ride it with other people. Yeah, there's a few other people on there. The pilots are pretty good on Delta. Yeah. I did my first private jet. I went with another big comedian who has got lots of money. Who now you can tell who that Tim is. Tim Dillon. Yeah, he's a, a oh, lot of really? money. Oh, really? Tim Dillon. Yeah, I, I don't think he cares for me. No. No, I think he would be. Uh, no. Not please. He's one. He's one of these righties. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 I'll tell you what. The righties got money though. It's true. What, righties what got a lot of money. We, what, we, we gotta change something funded, up here. You think there's some funding happening from like these Roger Stone uh, shadow groups? I don't know something? what's going on. Because I it's my first time riding in a private jet, and my God. Ugh, that's disgusting. It, <laughs> I heard he was not that's, nice on backstage too. He was. I don't want to get you in trouble oh, here, no. but he was, was not nice wild. to people backstage private in, in uh, oh, no. St. Louis. That's her friend, and he's got his a jet. Wait, he owns a jet? No, 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 no. But we just took a private uh, plane to um, San Francisco. Oh, that's back. easy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I do that all the time. I do that last weekend. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't, have you been on Bill Burr's uh, helicopter? Doesn't he fly as no, a helicopter? No, 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 not yet. That's his thing, know. right? You heard about that? Yeah, he does. Uh, he likes to fly. He flies. Bill's himself? a nice yeah. guy. Hey, we're not gonna shit on Bill. No, Bill. We seems love like Bill. Nice I have guy. nothing against. I have not. I, I have a, nothing against anybody. Yeah, you blew it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> no, Bill, Bill's a Bill. Oh no, I just cut myself you blew off. It. Bill's a very nice man. Yes, he's very to be kind. A very nice he's man. a very nice, very supportive. I ran into him at an audition years ago, and he kind of said something very, you know, kind of like, "I like your stuff, man." You know, he was very. He was. Yes. We were nice to each other, and. Um, I fucked I, I myself. No I issue. can't hear myself anymore. Uh oh. Oh God. We've been censored by YouTube. Oh God. I don't know what I did. Um, did it fall out? Do you can you hear? Can you did hear me? Fine. Out? Yeah, we hear oh, you. Oh, that's fine. Yeah. I just did your myself. ear fall out there? Yeah, I don't know thing? what's going on. It's fucked up. Oh, Are you okay? Here's our guy. I'm no sorry. Here comes Luke. Getting worked up. Luke. I moved too much. Oh, there it is. Oh, Use the force, like, Luke. No, right, Vic. Um, oh yeah, there it is. That's nice. That's nice. We should. You know what we should do when Luke has to come in? Have those stupid lightsaber sound effects. <laughs> saber sound effects. Um, when he's working on stuff down there. <laughs> there it is. You guys are very fast with these sound effects. Yeah. It's quite impressive. That was cute. All right. No, peace and love to everybody. Yeah, yeah. No, who cares? Some people are bad. Um, yeah, no, flying a lot. A lot of weekends flying. I drove the last few weekends. I like driving more. Are you alone on these excursions? No, I bring two. I have two openers. Oh, great. Yeah. Alex Pavone and Pat Bircher, two Canadian boys. Two men. Two men. I think bring men. I got creeps. If you, uh, oh my God. Well, tell me about a creep. Oh, I have on my writer now that single men aren't allowed to sit in the front row at my shows. Because I had one show in San Fran this and there's. Discrimination discrimination against my people. Exactly. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> eight single men in I the I guess front I should row. be in the back of the bus now, too. Yeah, huh? get to the back of the bus where I can't see you jerking off and men. putting your finger in your ass. This, t- this is for real? I Yes, I have I have a lot of strange men. One guy hid outside the uh, in San Francisco for me. I didn't do a meet and greet because I got so freaked out by him. The late show, he was hiding behind a bush and he was just like, I drove three hours. It was like oh, crazy. Yeah, what yeah, do yeah. they want to do with you? I, wanna... Because I talk so openly about sex and stuff, they think oh, that it's their God. turn next. Like, you fucked that guy in your story. Now it's my turn. And, and it's like psychotic. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh my God. Fuck that. Yeah, I don't know. If it's I really find bizarre. out my audience is so pure and clean and lovable and, and innocent that I'm not nothing, worried about. Nothing bad happens in those warehouses. They're all nice men oh, that do nothing sad. weird. Yeah. <laughs> there's, no, there's no weird hole cut into a box in the yeah. back corner with a bunch of stuffing that's just wet for some reason. <laughs> <laughs>
No, but I gotta get, I'll get my progressive women to come out to your show. Well, here's the thing. Well, Sometimes I'll women are even weirder. I had a woman right. come in the bathroom Ew. and well, she came all over <laughs> me in the bathroom. No, uh, in the meet and greet line after, she was like, Smell um, of sex and gas. <laughs> in the bathroom. Like, I, uh, I heard you poo. And I was like, what? She's like, I looked under the stall and I saw your boots and I knew it was you and I listened. Oh. And I was like, excuse me? Oh my God. Listen to my full shit. And she's like, I, I listened to the whole thing. This is just you two in the bathroom? Because it was, you know, sometimes the green rooms don't have a fucking bathroom. Yeah. So I take my big fat pre show shit. Right. Talk it's to always about fat. That. It's yeah, always yeah. fat. Thick Never logs. snow. <laughs> oh, Thick big logs. log. It's oh, hard you should be happy afterwards. it's not diarrhea. No, 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 it's diarrhea. But it's also. <laughs> so oh my God. My God. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Now Vic was under the impression that women don't go number two. No, I was no, actually no. under with the microphone. <laughs> yeah. That was actually you. <laughs> that was, she said in the sound. Yeah, she said in the sound for you guys. Yeah. Well, that's horrible. No, it's weird. So I bring and how guys, did you end that yeah. conversation? <laughs> I said, can you please leave the meet and greet line? No, it was really, it was, I was really uncomfortable. Oh yeah. my God. Like, Is this weird? Yeah. I'm like, no, it's normal. Are you gonna, did you record it? It's like your sleep sounds at night. Yikes. Um, but so yeah, now you're right. isolating yourself from your audience. Yeah. So now I have to, uh, and I have a boyfriend now that I have to keep advertising. And I thought that if I advertised it, people would leave me alone. But what I got are you doing? a DM Putting up last billboards night. billboards in uh, Grand Rapids when you <laughs> arrive? Billboards <laughs> that I have a, a boyfriend? Last night a guy DM me. I'll read it. This is the kind of fucking DMs I oh, get. Oh, yeah. This um, is the stuff we want on the oh, show. Oh, yeah, yeah, folks. yeah. Let's, li literally, this is, I woke up to this. I check my DMs. I check the other inboxes. Of course. I don't. Um, okay, I got this one. I'd love to show you my cock, you sexy slut. That one's nice. Hey guys, it's Jeremy. Sent from Vic Bergen. <laughs> <laughs> this one, this one, uh, this one's good. Um, please marry me. I will eat your ass every night for the rest of your life. Mm. All we're no, talking won't. about is having a gross ass, dude. I'm not saying that. I, I, I'm talking about shit. It's like, uh, what's wrong? What does with that people? look like? 14 years into the relationship, by the way. Every <laughs> yeah. night, Tuesday night, we just had uh, uh. we just had sloppy joes for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Last minute. The, He's like, why did I promise this in the, uh, in the every vows? Every fucking night. <laughs> every fucking night. Uh, <laughs> all right, we're good. <laughs> He's just, yeah, so asshole. old. Your ass is all chapped. We're both in like a wheelchair. Uh, Again, with a wheelchair. I had yeah. to get out of my wheelchair. He's got a wheel over. Oh, God. Eat my ass. Well, you delivered on the filth. Let me you tell you that much. <laughs> yeah, the weird, I feel like I had to go even even further than I normally do because it was such a, a hyped up experience. No, this show, I'll tell you what, this show, I don't know what the audience is thinking right now. They like it. They, they <laughs> can't, they, they have fun. They, we, they know this is that life is a, first of all, life is a joke. Sucky, sucky. Life is lovey, lovey. whatever. Mommy, mommy. Gives a shit. <laughs> So let's Good talk shit. about our bodies. Let's talk yeah, about, yeah, yeah. but as long as we're doing it with respect for the other people involved, yeah, respectful. it's not no, I mean, protest is yours. So anyway, anyways, uh, I love it. Yeah, uh, we needed that jolt. We needed that we kick need, in the yeah, ass. Yeah, it's, it's the morning. Yeah, you gotta wake up. Um, do you want me to do the penis thing? <laughs> um, right now, we do have to get to this because and we're going to say thank you, Steph, and wish you all the best. Mm -hmm. Okay. And I think everybody here is going to do that okay. one by one. Okay. Doug? Okay. Steph, thank you so much for coming on Office Hours. It was a real treat. Thank and uh, thanks for sharing your Instagram picture of your wheelchair picture. Yes. Steph, thanks for being extra filthy with us today. <laughs> 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 Next time, come back and let's get filthier. Okay. Oh. Matt, oh. anything? Can't thank you enough for the filth. Wow. <laughs> I thank you, of course. And uh -huh. pleasure to see you again. I hope I run mm -hmm. into you again. I yes. hope you're safe on the road during this holiday season. Thank you. Um, Final thoughts from you? Any Final thank thoughts. Thanks. Hey. Th <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, each and every one of you individually yeah, I think uh, that would for be having nice. me on. Um, I think that would be appropriate. I, I had a great time. Great way to start the day. Um, oh, you're Because you, you got an appointment? Bad. I got an appointment. Hey! I'd love I'm, making, I'm, making, no, <laughs> I'm getting my hair done. I got to keep gotta the get mullet. Right? You got to keep the mullet <laughs> nice. fresh. Yeah. Um, God forbid you're late for that. I can be late. That's why I said I wanted to be late. I said I want to stay longer, but now we've got the goodbyes. Now I, now I have to go. You have to go. And we have to do the world premiere of, uh, you know the, the Beatles? Are you familiar I've the heard Beatles? of them a couple times. Big rock yeah. group in the 60s. Yeah, okay. So what happened with them is a uh, big rock group in the 60s, broke up, had a lot of bad... A lot of bad shit going on between them. Relationship stuff, uh -huh. uh, business stuff, didn't get along, broke up. Woke one of the guys in the group. Woke <laughs> up. <laughs> one of the guys in the group was assassinated. Hell. JFK style. Okay. Big. Bang! Right in the street. Dead. In the street? 1980. I didn't go stop. No, no. Turns he was, out I he was assassinated right in the street. 
Yoko. No, he did a bed in for peace with his oh, wife, yeah. Yoko. You thought he died in bed? Yeah, I thought it was a bed thing. No. no. I really don't know a lot of So he gets oh. killed 1980. Uh, that sort of dashes any hopes of any uh, reunions. Okay. Full reunions. Uh, the other the guitar player in the group, George Harrison, passes away 2001. Now we got Ringo Starr, the drummer, and Paul McCartney, singer and bass player, still alive. Ringo Starr. But they have this, <laughs> they have this uh, old demo that John Lennon made. I'm lovable. Before he was killed. It's getting better. Shot down in cold blood. <laughs> and they use uh, this uh, AI. They use all this technology. There's, they said, "With well, Beatles are back. They're going to take this demo from John. They're going to clean it up. They're going to it's free." play over it, Paul and Ringo playing drums and bass, singing. Mm, I... And now we have another song, um, The Beatles Are so... Back. This is apparently the last song The Beatles will ever put out. It's just a bunch of frequencies. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna play that and be back with uh, the Holy Trinity and many of your calls. <laughs> and uh, get into all sorts of funny business. All right, thank you folks, be back in a few. Thank you, Steve. Thank you. Together now. 